incredibly disturbing survey results from the National Science Foundation. I, I, I'm embarrassed to give you these results, ladies and gentlemen. 25% of Americans are unaware that the Earth circles the sun in our solar system. The National Science Foundation did a, a survey, a poll of 2,200 people in the U.S. There were nine questions about physical and biological science. The average score was a 6.5, barely a passing grade. 74% of respondents knew that the Earth revolves around the sun. 26% did not know that. Less than half, only 48% knew that human beings evolved from earlier species of animals. The results of the survey, which is conducted every two years, will be presented to President Obama and U.S. lawmakers as part of the National Science Foundation report. One in three respondents said science needs to get more funding from the government. Wow. Only one third of the same group where 25 percent didn't realize that the Earth revolves around the sun think we need more science funding. This is an example of the Dunning Kruger effect where you lack the the ability to you lack the capacity to even recognize that you're wrong or lack information. Yeah, this is just another great example of how our education system has completely failed. Uh, of course, you have some states where it's working and you have some states where people are trying to make sure it doesn't work. Um, and how do you, you know, where, where's the, how do you even that out? It, I mean, some type of federal mandate, it seems the only way. This is tragic news. It sounds funny and in a way it is, but it is tragic. No wonder it is so hard to affect policy with data and science when the nation is reduced to superstitions, consumerism, consumption and lacks knowledge about basic facts. And I want to take this further, specifically with this issue of, of the uh, heliocentric theory. Not only is not knowing that the Earth revolves around the sun relevant, specifically speaking, but the importance of the history of Copernicus positing this hypothesis and the religious interests fighting against Copernicus, Copernicus and subsequently when Galileo in the 1600s was uh, an advocate, a believer in this Copernican theory of heliocentrism. And Galileo was then suspected of heresy for following the position of Copernicus instead of the authority of the Holy Scripture. This is a, a relevant fact today because when we look at the history of religious based opposition to Copernican heliocentrism and we look today at religious opposition to things like evolution and even just having access to certain types of research and stem cells, etc. It is very important to remember the absurdity of what happened to Copernicus and to know what's happening today. Yeah, there there are a lot of parallels. I mean, luckily, we're not beheading people for uh, for you know, agreeing with Copernicus. But if 25% of Americans aren't aware of something this simple and, and well known and documented, how do you expect any of them to even know, for example, what uh, the, the stance of the person they're voting for, their stance on entitlements or taxes or anything like that? I mean, clearly they, they don't. It's uh, it's truly tragic. As funny as it is to say, hey, 25% of Americans have no idea that the Earth is actually not the center of the solar system or the universe. Um, uh, the, the, there's, there's so much tragic going on here.